We are. We are. We are cultivate. 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 We are cultivate. Hello and welcome to a special mini-sode of Ye Olde Crime, the show where Maddie and I discuss the funny, strange, and obscure crimes of yesteryear every Wednesday. This special bi-weekly segment is called Can You Crack the Cramp Word, which is slang for a difficult or obscure term, which I thought was very fitting. And joining me today is Alicia from the Twisted in a Court podcast, And before we begin, I'd like to give her the opportunity to tell us a little more about herself and her show before we get started. Hi, thank you so much for having me on again. Last time I was Mm -hmm. on the show, I had my co-host Sierra with me, and we host Twisted Topics every Tuesday on our podcast, Twisted and Uncorked. That usually entails wine or sangria as well, and we love ridiculous fun facts. And for people that love obscure facts, you'd think that we would be better at this game. So wish me (laughs) luck for round two. (laughs) We're also both notorious overthinkers, which I ran into last time. So I think I'm just gonna not overthink it, just kind of give you the first guess that I can. And I'm very excited to be here. So if you guys like true crime and paranormal stuff, come check us out. But yeah, that's it. Don't make me sound cute again. All right. <laughs> I'm like, every time I'm like, I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> oh my God. That is me every single day. Like if I have to lead a meeting or anything, I, I kind of just want to go like this and just like put my hands up by my face and just be like, I just don't know what to do with my hands. I think you should. I think you definitely It's like should. an icebreaker. Like, like, hey, I'm super awkward. I don't know oh what to God. do with my hands. But like the people that get it would be your people. (laughs) Oh, that's funny. I'm actually going to do that next time I have to do a meeting. I hate talking in meetings. Anytime somebody puts me on the spot, I'm like, what do I do? I know. I I have not been trained for this. What is the protocol? (laughs) I get the worst anxiety. I'm just like, and we are podcast hosts, people. even better side job so yeah right but if you found it relatable i think you 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 know you found your people in your ears here exactly that sounded worse exactly (laughs) (laughs) so as you mentioned this is your second time on the show so what's new in the world of twisted and uncorked we have lots of fun stuff going on. We've been doing urban legend segments. That is a Patreon special, but it's only a dollar and there's 30 of them. So that's pretty cool. We also did a crossover kind of dark and spooky episode with the podcast like Mother Like Murder, who are kind of like a newer up and coming podcast, but they're lots of fun. And we also have a bonus episode coming out with our friend Zandy from Beach to Sandy again. So that'll be his second time on the show. And that's pretty fun as well. Otherwise, it's just business as usual. We did just have our visit together back in July of this year. So we've got some super fun content of the two of us in the same city, which is kind of nice as well. So yeah, that is new in the world of Twisted and Uncorked. Nice. I only get to see her once a year. So (laughs) yeah. So speaking of travel, that was a, a beautiful segue into my next question, which I start with. I know that you and Sierra like to travel. <laughs> <laughs> Have you visited any of the places you've discussed on the show? Yes, a lot of them, surprisingly, especially with this last trip that we did together. She's originally from Cincinnati, Ohio. So we went there because she was already going for her brother's graduation. So I just flew in to meet her there. And her mom was gracious enough to take me in as well. (laughs) And we went and saw the site of the Loveland Frogman, which is like a lake. I think it's called Queens Lake. Ah, Sierra covered that one. We were going to go and see Eugene the Mummy who was an unidentified African-American male who was found and never identified, but used as almost like a mascot in this one tiny little city in Cincinnati. But we didn't get the chance to, unfortunately. But we also went to the Cincinnati Cemetery, which is the 
I think it's the third largest cemetery in the U.S., massive. We drove around forever and we found a couple of famous sites there that we talked about in the past. And then we went to the Mothman Museum in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, which we did three parts on Mothman, actually, as well as like the Men in Black and all the the lore that's kind of tied to that episode. So that Mm -hmm. was a pretty fun experience. Point Pleasant is smaller than you could imagine. And I'm sure you have listeners there. I wasn't sure what I was expecting, but Holy smokes, it's super cute. And everything is, of course, Mothman related because you got to lean into your cryptid. A lot of cryptid stuff for this trip. We also went to Bobby Mackey's for a ghost tour. And that is an episode that we have not covered yet, but we are going to be covering with the footage and the experience that we had there. We thought it would be more fun to cover it afterwards. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we've done a lot of really cool sites together. A lot of really fun ghost tours. So yeah, I I feel pretty lucky and it's because of our listeners that we're able to do that every year. So very thankful for that as well. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of random spooky stuff. (laughs) Sometimes that's the best kind of spooky stuff is the random ones. Well, you were talking about going to New Orleans and I'm like, that is a spooky heart. Like, I'm like, we need to go there. So maybe next year or maybe we'll meet you guys there. Who knows? Oh, man. (laughs) that'd be pretty sweet new orleans isn't ready for that (laughs) no they need time to prepare have a (laughs) warning yeah right have a town meeting (laughs) (laughs) we need to mentally prepare ourselves (laughs) for the shit show that is coming (laughs) you have no idea (laughs) 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 okay guys i I'm, i'm inserting myself here before we started recording we were talking about cozy fall recipes and doing a possible spinoff podcast as a joke, but we would have yep. to be super comforting and only laugh in such a comforting and fancy way. So if Lindsay's laughing weird this episode in comparison to all the rest, it's my fault. <laughs> yeah, I said we have to have a very soothing, soft laugh. I'd be like, ha 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 you're so funny. <laughs> It's hilarious. You keep doing it. People are going to be like, is she okay? Is she being held captive right now? What's happening right now? Is Alicia an unwelcomed guest? Is Lindsay secretly a lizard person? The answer oh. is no. <laughs> like that li- the video of the lady on the plane. I don't know if you saw that on TikTok, but that went. I'm like, what is happening here? I think I think she was telling the truth. She sounded so afraid. People are like, oh, she's just drunk. I'm like, I think she was actually scared to not get a <laughs> refund and just get off a plane with nothing. Got to be pretty afraid. Yeah, that's fair. So my last question before we sagu into the cramp word segment is, do you have a favorite beverage that you like to drink when you are recording? I am a creature of habit. My drink of choice is always wine. Uh, in the winter and fall, I like red wine. And in the summer and the spring, I like white wine or rosés usually. I'm terrible. I literally made my husband go into the liquor store to grab it for me today because I just got my new driver's license renewed and I was worried they were going to ID me. <laughs> They probably wouldn't have, but if I had to leave without wine, I would have been really upset. But I usually just have a box of a Canadian wine called Bodacious. It's the brand in my fridge because I'm a classy lady and that's the most cost effective way to drink wine. Hey, no judgment. (laughs) Boxed wine can be super good. It is. I promise you Bodacious is really good and it's really inexpensive and then you get it in a box and it's even better. So. See if you can find it. I'll try to experience that. It's from British Columbia, so I don't know if it'll be there. Sierra's never been able to find it, but she lives in a very small town, so. Hello, Twisted Humans. Do you find yourself wanting to know more about the latest murder, conspiracy, cult, or haunting? Then this is the podcast for you. In 1952, there was a record high of UFOs reported. 1500 sightings there has been evidence of human sacrifice devil worship and it is haunted by more spirits than can be counted a family of two adults and two kids reportedly saw a giant flying thing with glowing red eyes and meanwhile the family's nanny that helped veronica to care for her and lucian's children was found bludgeoned to death in the basement of their family home 
I'm Alicia. And I'm Sierra. And this is Twisted Twisted and and Uncorked. All right. Are you ready? No, but yes. (laughs) (laughs) No, but here we are. It's going to be a multiple choice test. I'm just going to give you my first answer (laughs) that comes to my head. (laughs) There you go. So your first term is twist. Oh, she knew I was coming, ladies and gentlemen. Is there like a city or time period or anything that this was particularly used in? Mm, I That didn't come up in my <laughs> research. I saw it. I'm like, that one's a feat. I can use it in a sentence for okay. you, though, if you would use like. Use it in a sentence. Will's got a huge twist. Oh. <gasps> It does not mean what I think it means, does it, from that context? I'm blinking at you rapidly. You tell me. You tell me. Like a huge, wow, my head went straight to the gutter. Um, Maybe like (laughs) a huge bit of news or a huge bit, like something to say that you weren't expecting? Kind of like gossip or something? Yeah. Kind of spilling the tea type of thing? Yeah. Is that right? It is actually appetite. Oh, see, I went from something to tea to appetite. All right. All right. I see it. I'm here for it. I figured you were going to go straight to like. Did you write that sentence like that on purpose? It actually, that was the sample sentence with it being used. Oh, I just changed the word huge. I was like, Lindsay. (laughs) Will's got a huge twist. <laughs> the twist being he's hungry, yeah, not well I'm endowed. Sh- <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I mean, he uh, might be, but in this yeah, in this right? context, we're not here to judge Will. We don't know. <laughs> he's just a hungry guy. <laughs> That's fun. I would say I have a huge twist as well. I mean, don't we all at some point? True. All right. Your second term is wire. Oh, goodness. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. You should always try to protect yourself from wires when out and about. Hmm. Okay, I think that's too easy. (laughs) I think that's too easy. I was going to say like a thief or like a snitch or like like somebody that's not got your best intentions at heart. But Mm -hmm. I feel like, oh, maybe is it gossip related? Like we were just talking about, I wonder? It is not gossip related. Mm, mm, okay. Protect yourself from the wires out and about. It's got to be a bad person or something. Oh, like, okay, I'm going to go with thief. Is it a thief? <laughs> it is a thief. Yes! With long <laughs> fingers. Oh! <laughs> so that makes so him an expert. Pickpocket real pick easy. Pocket. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh, yep. Okay. Oh, see, I'm glad I didn't overthink it. <laughs> you get to witness this every other week when you have people on <laughs> i know i like witnessed the wheel turning and i wanted to like be like just stop just stop talking yeah, got yeah. it <laughs> but like i can't do that you got a good poker face my girl <laughs> i don't want to give it away i'm always just like hmm, yes 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 tell me more <laughs> about your thought process here <laughs> When I saw the the description of what this meant, when it said a thief with long fingers, I just pictured like salad fingers for some reason. Yes, always. Like I was like, ooh, salad fingers. He wants the rusty (laughs) spoons. Okay, it's fine. The rusty spoons. He can have them. I'm good without them. (laughs) Yeah, maybe I just need to start carrying a bunch of rusty spoons in my pocket, so then I won't feel so bad when someone. That would be the ultimate trick. You might get my wallet. You might get a rusty spoon. We don't know. Yeah. (laughs) And if it truly is salad fingers pickpocketing me, he'd be so happy. He wouldn't even really want the wallet. He'd just be like, oh, it's a rusty rusty spoons. (laughs) (laughs) Your listeners are like either too young or too old or right in the right place to get that. (laughs) Yeah. I might have to include a link to... You need the to YouTube I feel like, videos yeah. for context because people. Will you need to like, traumatize the rest of the people. <laughs> um, God, I think I tried to share it with my oldest, and she was like, "This is the kind of content you had when you were my age." And I was like, "I didn't even show you the the sh- fifty five video or the end of the world video or like yeah, fifty yeah. five. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that is a 
Okay, this is the same one. Oh, or like the classic. badger video. Yeah. Oh, or the peanut butter jelly top. <laughs> yep. Guys, we we had some good stuff, okay? <laughs> yeah, we had uh, the best stuff. You can't do it without being creepy with your fingers. Though. I know. And make like, <laughs> weird mouth noise, like breathing sounds like... <sighs> If anyone is still here. <laughs> yeah. I feel like the best way to describe it would be if you had like wet fingers. And you just were like yeah. things. Yeah. It's, it's meant to make you feel. Ooh, it's but meant also to make you feel make unsettled. Yep. It, it makes your twist go away. Man. <laughs> <laughs> it totally makes your twist go away. Oh I my just God. lost my twist. They're <laughs> the wire and the twist of it all. I tell you. <laughs> Well, I would like to thank Alicia for joining me today for Can You Crack the Cramp Word? And before we go, can you please tell our listeners where they can find you on social and remind them when new episodes of your show come out? Uh, Yeah, we are at Twisted and Uncorked on all socials except for Twitter, where we are Twisted underscore pod. We also have a website, twistedanduncorked.com, where you can find anything we're doing, really. And our episodes come out every Twisted Tuesday. On that note, as always, I'm Lindsay, and I'll see you next time with another tale as old as crime.